Uh, hope you guys can hear me over the tweeting of a bird. But today, what we're gonna do is clean some shells I've had collected. I'm gonna adjust the camera that way y'all can see. There you go. All right, I had to move the camera a little bit. So this is muriatic acid. Now this will work for the freshwater shells, the shells that you buy in the store, like this one, and the ones that you find on the beach. Now I found a majority of these on the beach. This one I bought. So we're gonna see how this one cleans up. Come around. Now the reason why we're doing this is because every single shell, whether it's fresh water or salt water, or even store bought will have a layer of calcium. That's that right there. That's that white, powdery, dingy look to this. So what we're gonna do is use the muriatic acid and remove this. So with this, as with any chemical, you want to do it in a well-ventilated area. I have safety glasses on just in case it splatters. Since I'm outside, I'm not gonna wear a mask, but I do have gloves on. Now what's this, you do not want to use anything metal. No stainless steel, no metal of any sort because it will destroy the metal. So what I have in this bucket right here is just plain water. This is also plain water. It doesn't take a lot of muriatic acid to go into the water to get the results that you want on your shells. You have to neutralize the muriatic acid with water though. So this is just nothing but water. So I did all this ahead of time. Now you definitely want really thick gloves because I'm going to be dipping these. Now you can use like tongs but they have to be solid plastic or even silicone. Anything metal like I said it will destroy it. I've tried. Now these little nets you can keep off your produce or whatever like the rocks come in. They expand and they're plastic so you can put a few shells in there, dip it in, dip it in or empty them out and you'll be good. So we're going to be using these today. All right, without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. So it doesn't, like I said, it doesn't take a whole lot. It's like a three to one ratio. So three things of water to one thing of muriatic acid. So we're just going to guesstimate. I have about two and a half gallons of water in here. Is how dingy they look now. See how you just take that, just twist it loosely. Now you don't want to leave them in there very long. Now what it does is going to be like an uh, an alka seltzer effect, so it's going to be kind of fizzy. That's normal. So I'm just going to move it around. When I do the next bag, I'll bring you guys over here that way you can see. See how much blacker that one is? So are we going to do this one? This is the one with the muriatic acid. We're going to set it in there. You see the fizziness? That's normal. And you can actually fill the bubbles. It feels like a whole bunch of pop rocks are going off. Now depending on how bad the calcium level is will depend on the length of time that you do this. So if it's not really too bad you can just do it for a short amount of time. This one was fairly bad. You can see the difference already. Put it in the water. Neutralize it. Now it went from a gray to this. Same thing with that. And it will stay that color. Now if you leave it in there too long, it will eat the color off. Just FYI. So let's go ahead and do these here. So you can see where it's wet, what it's going to look like versus dry and all the calcium deposits on it.
Dave, look at that. What a difference, huh? Put it back in the water. I'm just gonna leave them in there just so I know that they're neutralized. Now we're gonna do this big old boy. And you can see the bubbling up there. I don't know if you can kind of see the fumes, but yeah, there's fumes coming off. Rinse it in here. Now, another thing I want to mention that these shells, they do have a different feel to them when they have a calcium deposit on them. And they'll feel a lot different when they're clean. And if you do this enough, you'll definitely be able to feel the difference of picking up, just picking them up, period, of, okay, these are clean, these are not clean. And a lot of times I'll clean these, um, since I do sell the shells, I will clean them either ahead of time before I give them to a customer or at the time of purchase. It just kind of depends on my schedule. So let's try a yellow one. I only want one, not four. All right, so this has yellow and pinkish tones to it. So there you have it.